What's up guys and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Okay, there's been a lot of talk about the Reddit post that some of the developers did on the marquee events and how they know they've bogged us up with marquee events, but just wait because there's going to be some awesome legendary events coming towards the later half of the year, if not mostly legendary events. And there's been a few others that have speculated about, you know, who they think they're going to be, what they think it's going to be about, and that's awesome. But I kind of have a little different take on this, and I'm going to go over my feelings about it uh, while we, I do my daily squad arena and uh, fleet arena battles here. So the events that we've had ha come out so far, let's see, which one do I want to face here? I've got to choose which team I want to face because I want to be able to come in here and get a victory. We'll face D. We've had all the solo characters. I don't think it's going to be solo related. Honestly, I just don't. I don't think it's going to be solo related whatsoever. I'm going to have to concentrate here too. We've had the Sith come out. Of course. Uh, at least he isolated him. The Sith come out. Treya, Scion. We've had Nihilus in the game. We've also had the Old Republic characters come out. And a lot of people think that they are the characters that are going to be needed to, because you're going to need these marquee characters to be able to unlock the legendary characters, or so we think. That's what they kind of mentioned in the post as well. Well, here are, is my thoughts on the whole thing. A lot of people say Revan. It's going to be Revan. Oh my gosh. I can't wait till Revan comes, but I'm probably one of the only few people that doesn't think it's going to be Revan yet. Let me explain why. We've had... We're going to look at how the characters we've we've had come out relate to Revan. So, I'm going to quick cleanse Nihilus here. And we're going to... No, I don't want to annihilate Sith Trooper. But you know what? you got to get people out of there when you can. Treya uh, and Kreya, as Treya is known, uh, her regular name is, was Revan's master. I don't think that's going to equate to what this is. The characters we've had come out were the big characters, Treya and Scion... And the Sith Marauder, those were more Knights of the Old Republic too. Who the protagonist of that game, I will get to in a second here. Bastila, T3M4, Jolie, Mission, Zalbar, those are all, you know, Knights of the Old Republic run, Revan characters, yes. Here's why I don't think it's going to be Revan. These characters came out a few months ago, and to get them all 7 star in the free-to-play way, or at least get them close where they'd make you spend some sort of money would not be till next year. Now, these saying that these events are going to come in the second half of this year, or they talk about their fiscal quarters and their quarter starts on April 1st. So maybe we are talking about, you know, January, February, March of next year. I'm not sure. That would lead me to believe that the characters that have been out the longest to unlock some of these legendary characters would be Scion, Nihilus, etc. I don't think Treya will be involved, but something could be go nuts. Maybe the Marauders can be involved. I think that Mitra Surik, the Jedi Exile, who is the protagonist of Knights of the Old Republic 2, is going to be one of the legendary characters required because if you read the Revan book, that's an excellent book, by the way. You should definitely read it if you haven't. You can listen to it on YouTube uh, Premium. She is... Revan's basically best friend. She comes and finds him in the unknown regions while he's taking on the Sith Emperor, Vitiate Vakorian, same person. And he, she helps him, I'm going to take out Nihilus, fight the Emperor. So I think to get Revan, we're actually going to need the Jedi Exile. I think maybe the characters that will be needed to unlock Malak in the future will potentially be the Knights of the Old Republic characters uh, or some of the other characters in the crew that haven't been released. Maybe Cartho Nassi is going to be a big time character. He was great in the game. Candrus Ordo, I've talked about them before. Maybe they're going to be um, unlocked by some of the characters that we have in the crew right now. Also, we know that ships are taking a bigger aspect of the game. In the Ebon Hawk, we have enough crew crew members for the Ebon Hawk right now with what we have. And the Ebon Hawk is probably my favorite ship in Star Wars. And that was the the ship was originally Davik's ship, who was a crime lord on Terrace when Revan, not knowing it was Revan yet, defeated Kalonord and Davik. 
they took the ship, fled Terrace as the Sith Empire was raiding, uh, Malak was raining down upon it. They escaped and it became Revan's ship. And it is a very, very, we're going to auto this here because I feel like I'm going to win this. It was a very, very iconic ship. In fact, it's probably the most iconic Legends ship there is, maybe besides the Chimera, which is Grand Admiral Thrawn's ship, which is not Legend anymore because it is in Rebels. So, Ebon Hawk, that is something that's going to be coming out as a legendary event, okay? Mitra Suric, that is something that's going to be coming out as a legendary event. So, I'm going to say if there's two or three, those are two right there I feel pretty confident about. The third is with the Bounty Hunters coming out and the Clone Wars, you know, being revamped with another season, I actually think Jango Fett is going to be the other legendary event. We have so far right now, let's go in and look at Bounty Hunters. We have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bounty hunters. I'm guessing we're going to get two more because we want to get to a total of 10 bounty hunters in the game. At this point, you can have two teams of bounty hunters. That's a speculation. I'm just saying. So what's one other bounty hunter that could be released before we get Django Fett? We have Aura Singh. We have Embo. We have Bosk. In the Clone Wars TV series, they had Young Boba. Uh, very interesting. Actually, a, a fun, interesting character. You learn you learn his motivations and why he became Boba Fett, why he became and did what he did. There are a few other ones in there, but I not ones that are as prominent unless they go Old Republic and they go Kalo Nord, which was the, you know, he was the best bounty hunter of his time back in that day during Knights of the Old Republic. That one I doubt a little more, maybe in the future. But I think Jango Fett is going to be that other legendary character that we have. Jango Fett... The Ebon Hawk, which is included as a ship, yes, and Mitra Surik. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that Revan isn't going to come to the game. He's going to the, come to the game for sure. We know this. The question is when. Is it going to be within this next, you know, fiscal uh, half-year timeline, uh, semi, semi-fiscal year timeline? I would tend to think that there's... I would tend to think they're going to build him up as the most powerful character in the game, hands down, bar none. If they bring Valkorian or Emperor Vitiate, who's the same character to the game, that would be my vote for the strongest ever, because he is the strongest ever. Um, but I would think that they're going to they're gonna need us to make us have more than just five marquee characters for Revan. I'm going to say you're going to need a bunch of characters, some of them very hard to obtain, as in you're going to need the Jedi Exile, Potentially, you'd need Treya too. I'm guessing you're going to need ba Bastila for sure. I'm, I'm thinking the characters you'd need for sure are Bastila, T3M4, Mitra Surik, and now what other people are really, really close to Revan? Well, there are a lot of those crew members like we discussed, but I think one that you know conversed with him a lot and dealt with him in the past as well was HK47. That's nice because he's attainable. And then we have to come up with one more, and I'm going to say it's the first person he met, which was Cartho Nassi. So I think the, the people you're going to need to get Revan are Cartho Nassi, Cartho Nassi HK47, T3M4, Basila, and Mitra Surik. That would be my best guess, um, just based on what the game was about, the character importance in the game. And what's great about this is maybe maybe I'm wrong and Malak has to be one of them. Um, I'm, I'm hoping Malak comes to the game. He was fantastic. I loved him as his character. I loved his storyline, his motivations. You know, he was a Sith. He took it on himself to destroy Revan. Revan was saved. You know, we have the apprentice trying to defeat the master. And he was very powerful. And I think if we're talking about nice the old public characters that could come to the game, I think he would be one of them. But it's who's going to be needed for Revan. And like I said, the, one of my speculations on why I don't think it's going to be Revan yet is I think they're going to give people time to farm these characters a little longer. I don't think, yes, Capital Games is a money-making machine. Good, they should be. Compared to what Marvel Strike Force is doing, this is excellent. People can spend a few dollars, maybe more. I don't think that they would make you flat out the Old Republic characters out right now, like I said, which is T3M4, Jolie, Mission, Zalbar, and Bastila. I don't think they would make out end up making you pay $300 for each character to get them to seven stars to unlock Revan if those are the ones required. I think you would be able to have some time to get them leveled up on your own to be able to get him. So that's why I think Revan is maybe out of the picture. So if we're going to talk about, again, I'm reemphasizing this. Um, Jango Fett, I think, is going to come first. Then we're going to have the Ebon Hawk, and we're going to have Mitra Surik. And remember, the Ebon Hawk was also the main ship in Knights of the Old Republic 2, which was captained by Mitra Surik at the time. 
So this all fits together nicely before Revan comes in. I like what they talked about with the marquee characters. They said they've given us, given us a lot. You know, I don't mind it in the sense that, yeah, it can get tedious and boring, but it's attainable. Okay, the Aura uh, Sing event just ended. There's not one in here. You know, you go do through, you get the battles, you get her to three stars. I would like a chance to maybe get her to four or five stars, but to get a character, everybody's going to be able to get that character at at least one star. I know that's not very good, but if you're a beginning free-to-play character and you love Aura Sing, you're going to be able to get the character. Okay, and that's why I think marquees are, yes, they, like I said, tedious and boring, but they're okay in the long run because you are getting the characters and then obviously you either pay the money to get him to seven stars or you wait for them to become free to play. I wish, here's one thing I absolutely wish, is the accessibility of these characters after they become free to play are a little better. Throw us a bone every once in a while and put, I'm filming a video, I'll call you when I'm done. Uh, no, cause I'm, I'm, in my, I'm in the middle of a thought process. Okay, but I'll text you. Yep, sounds good. Yep, bye. Man, why is it that people always call me when I'm filming a video? I might as well keep this in the entire script. Come on, get me into the game here. Okay, there you go. Now this, the screen, come on, screen's back. Okay, so we were, where was I at? Now I got to get back to my thought process. Oh yeah, Ebon Hawk, etc. And the, let's see, oh yeah, the throwing a bone to the players about getting them better accessibility to the characters. You know, like I said, with Aura Sing coming out, Aura Sing, and I'm going to give credit where credit is due, watching all of Arnold's videos, and he talks about he thinks she's going to be a huge uh, part of being able to accomplish the Sith raid a lot better, you know, so it can become more like the Rancor and tank raid, and he thinks she's a key part of that, and I think he's right because one of her abilities is specifically meant to topple or to t do millions of damage on toppled characters. Why don't you put her, she's an important character, into a free-to-play spot, as in Cantina Energy uh, would be, you know, I'd be happy with her there somewhere too, but not any more hard nodes. Come on, man. Let's go put him in the squad arena store, galactic war store, fleet arena store. We haven't had new characters put in there forever. And I really think if you really want to motivate the fan base a little more is throw them a bone, get some characters in those spots and it will make people a lot happier, including me, because I'm a person that is willing to do whatever it takes to get a character at times, but you know, not every character, you know, keep people on a leash, keep people enticed. So. Yes, I rambled on a little bit during this video, but I was talking about the, I, I did a squad arena battle, I did a fleet arena battle, and I'm talking about the legendary characters that I think is going to happen. A few videos back, which I'm going to put in the link above, I, I, put, I made a video about what ships I thought were going to come to the game and what characters related to bounty hunters were, and I said I thought Aura Singh and Houndstooth would be coming to the game. I'm pretty proud of myself for that, by the way. And I still hold that Hondo's going to come to the game. He's one of my favorite characters. He'll be a scoundrel for sure. Probably a light side scoundrel. I, I hope he is. But I don't think he'll be a legendary event. I think he'll be a fun event in there somewhere. Um, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, uh, of course, more of a speculation video, but those are fun every once in a while, please subscribe. Smash the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Get with the game. Like the video as well. Also, click the notification bell so every time I post a video, you will be alerted to when one comes up. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let's discuss about this. Let me know what you think. You think I'm completely wrong. Those aren't the legendary characters that are going to come, and I'm an idiot. Seriously, let me know in the comment section below because, you know, great minds think alike, and in certain terms, we can come up with better ideas, ones that I haven't thought of, ones that you've thought of, etc. and that is a lot of fun to do. So otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out, and may the force be with you.